name is Kende Oshijiri. I'm a pharmacologist by profession and people often refer to me as Farm Sam. So today, I want to share my own two cents on the discourse we've been having for the past one week on share your thoughts with Sam. We have a discourse on the topic, traditional medicine or orthodox medicine. Which one will you prefer? And for the past one week, we've been getting different feedback from people. And one thing I can sum up their feedback too is that it's based on individual knowledge, individual religious practices, and the origin of ailments. We've had feedback from people that says that, oh, the church I attend does not support the use of medicine, so because of that, I go for traditional way in managing my ailments. And we have some people that will tell you that, oh, it's village people that is causing this thing. Don't even use any orthodox medicine. Just go to the village. It's because of the origin of the ailment. And some people will tell you that this is what works for me. I don't believe in using traditional medicine. Because of that, they stick to what works for them in orthodox medicine. So briefly, I want to share my own thoughts on the selection. So if you ask me, Fam Sam, orthodox medicine or traditional medicine? I'll be biased if I should just go ahead and tell you, I'll pick traditional medicine or I'll say orthodox medicine. But one thing that is very important, just based on the feedback from our followers for the past one week, is for you to consider your convenience. That's number one thing. Which one is more convenient for you? Some people will complain that traditional medicine, they are very bitter and the untoward effect of it is not palatable by them. So because of that, they don't actually like traditional medicine. They prefer orthodox medicine. Another thing I want to look at is accessibility. When we are small, when we have malaria or typhoid, our parents will just enter the bush, just get some leaves together, prepare a concussion, we drink it, and we are fine. But revolution has taken place over the years, civilization has taken place over the years. All these plants are not easily accessible again. So if I want to treat malaria now, if I start going to the bush to be looking for the particular plant and I'm unable to get it, I have to now switch for orthodox medicine. Just get my Lonax DS, malaria drug from a pharmacy, and that is it. So accessibility is another thing you need to consider in your choice. Okay? And the third thing I would like to mention again is the root of administration. Not all traditional medicine can be given via different route of the administration. In most cases, most of them are given orally. Probably some of them are given topical. But when it comes to the orthodox medicine, you can even give some of them via the rectal. <laughs> Do you want to take a liquid substance and have, you know, take it off through your bum bum? No. But in orthodox medicine, there's something we call suppository. You just need to insert it and you are good. Okay? Another thing you want to also consider is the toxicology studies. The toxicological studies okay because one thing you need to understand is that drugs are poisonous either now or later they are poisonous they are not good for the system in the long run okay so in the long run it can damage your liver as the case may be so you might want to consider that in your choice as well because traditional medicine has more safety profile compared to orthodox medicine all right so that is the few points i'll be sharing with you today thank you for following my platform Okay, God bless you. I'll see you next week. Bye.